Welcome back to the patching series and I'm just going to walk you through this. It started out as pretty simple, but I, I still think it's simple. It's, it's a sample based patch. Um, so our sound source is Nebulae and our main clock source here is uh, the sonar output that's coming out of Nautilus. That I've got attenuated right here. That's coming down to the rate of bloom. So you can see that when sonar goes funny, it sends bloom all funny. I'm just giving it a tiny bit here. And also, well, I guess I've got about three quarters there. All right. Uh, keep in mind, um, watching these videos moving forward, I'm going to have um, audio in purple and clock related um, functions in white and uh, CV and gate functions in blue. I have uh, CV and gate uh, pairs coming from Bloom. The CV outs are going to time on data bender and to uh, depth of our chroma effect um, here. The two gate pairs coming from Bloom, I have triggering on and off the bend and break effects on data bender. There's one other uh, clock related little game and it's the pulse, it's the end of cycle that's coming from Nebulae. I've molted that here. That's controlling data bender and also back into Nautilus. So there's like two clock situations going on here. One is coming out um, as stepped uh, random. And the other one is clock coming in. So Nautilus is behaving pretty, pretty cool here, giving us um, lots of ins and outs and kind of a feedback situation here. change the sample here. Just got a few kind of melodic ambient samples on Nebulae. feedback was starting to step on itself, so I just wanted to back it off just a touch right there. So we can look at how I'm running the speed on these channels. Here's channel two, um, who's out. Um, is the one that's controlling time here on Data Bender. 
And with Bloom, I can see how fast I'm running it. Right, like this is the regular speed. And then this is dividing down and this is speeding up. These crackles, which you're hearing is the vinyl sim uh, on Databender. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more casual patching videos like this. And make sure to check out our forum for discussions about techniques, general synthesis, and just cool connections with other musicians.